good that they are here today as well. So I'm gonna have a tour with you. So we're gonna see all the coasters. We will begin with Founder and Valkyria, yeah. then we're going to uh, the Sky Barnard and the Helix as well. Yes. So I have the keys oh, <laughs> to the parks, it would be yeah. great. So if you have any question about the park itself or the coasters, yeah. just ask me. Uh, I will be off uh, until 12 today, so we have two hours, maybe longer. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So okay. the game is now closed, so we will take the special day. Originally, it was just here to be for one year. But the public really like this. Okay, let's keep it one more year. And they still like it. So, okay, we should have it a longer time. So it became our own company and so. A good decision. Mm, a good decision. Really yeah. Really good decision. So the owner of this park is actually the city. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's quite, <laughs> quite unique. And another unique thing is that we are in the middle of the city. Uh, if you look at other amusement parks and theme parks in the world, uh, you have big parking lots and you go to America, it's open yeah. fields yeah. and nothing around. So there are positive things with that and also negative things. The positive thing is that we are in the middle of the city, so the communication here is so good. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people can visit us. The negative thing is that we have limited of space. Yes. Uh, so uh, what we see here with Valkyria, <laughs> we had quite a small footprint for it, <laughs> but we still managed to have a quite good coast, I would say, my yes. personal opinion. Mm -hmm. And that will cost a lot, a lot of money. Yeah, we have seen uh, the pictures of the artworks mm -hmm. um, of the hotel. Um, it looks fantastic. It looks great. When will we start? Is this the we will start next year. Next year. Uh, with the first. Uh, yeah, yeah, the first in the ground. You open the you plan to open? We plan to open up uh, somewhere between um, 2021, 2020. Yeah. Either, because 2023 and uh, one. Yeah. Also gestern, gestern waren 19.000 Gäste hier. Ich habe jetzt gerade noch mal gefragt an den absoluten Peak Days, wenn es so richtig voll ist. Sagt er 30.000 bis 35.000. Letztes Jahr hatten sie einen Tag, da hatten sie ein Konzert mit Alice Cooper. 48.000 waren hier im Park. Absolutely great. Yeah. And that's Good that we record this. That yeah, yeah. Here. <laughs> And I think um, that is where what everyone Every fan is sad in, mm. uh, in Germany. We are reading in the different uh, threads. Um, everyone says it's amazing. Yeah. It looks really, really amazing. Thank you. Yes. We are really happy about it. Uh, we have these uh, people that are responsible for all the developing in the park. They have now, the recent years, uh, more think about theming. Yeah. Yeah. Lisebergen has never been like a theme park in that matter. Uh, more like an amusement park. But this whole uh, era is called like myths and legends. Yeah. So we're trying to do more stuff. And Balder here next year it will look a little bit better actually. Ah, okay. New lights and maybe okay. some new. Yeah, we have um, um, seen it. It's a new queue line for Balder. No? Yeah, now the new queue line here is because we built Valkyria. So maybe we'll turn it over there again. Uh, All right, yeah. welcome to Balder. I guess a few information here about Balder. It's a intermin free body, free fab. So that uh, means that uh, we order, if we need to change some track here, we order some sections. So like H12, and then the intermin will make that for us and they cut it with laser. Uh, so we do it almost every two years or so. Uh, we change some parts, and last year we changed some bigger parts of this section here. Yeah. So that's why it's still quite smooth. Why? Right. 
uh, we try to maintain it real well. There are other posters um, from Inter Milan Prefab. We have Colossus in Germany, yeah. and we have, uh, of course, El Toro in the uh, United States. And then we have T Express it's in Korea, I think, uh, somewhere in Asia. Yeah. And T Express is like a combination of El Toro and Baldur. Uh, but what happened with Colossus now is they rebuilt it from the start. I don't think they. My personal opinion is that maybe they didn't maintain it as well as yeah. we have done. Yeah. Uh, and now they see what happens if they don't do it. But if that is true or not, I don't know. But it's my, uh, what I believe so. Um, it was built here in 2003. And we had an old building here uh, that was built original in 1923 when the park was built. And it remained here until 1987. That was last season. So we wanted a new goodie, didn't really know where we would put it and so. Uh, but this area here was called Baldur's Field and was uh, like more staff area and so. And uh, then they looked on different models and so, and then Intamin came with this new prefab thing. And we said, yeah, let's yeah. try that. And what we wanted to build was a family coaster that quite small kids could ride and think it's funny, it's not scary. And what most people like is airtime. Yeah. It's more people that like airtime <laughs> than they like conversions yeah. Yeah. or uh, turns. So they said, we want as much airtime as possible on this footprint. And they said, okay. And they come with this <laughs> solution. And uh, it was voted the best food in the world the first year, 2003. And what happened then? Well, it was so popular that people were screaming all the time. So our neighbors on the other side of the road complained. And they said that the noises here from Baden was much higher than the uh, trucks and cars on the highway. So they took it to court and said, this is not okay. And the Lisbeth uh, lost. So we got the opportunity to uh, reduce the noise or buy new windows to all our neighbors so they can't hear the noise. So we tried to reduce the noise. That was the cheapest solution for us. <laughs> so we added the tunnel and some walls and the head choppers there on the um, first uh, hill. Yeah. And then it was voted to the best coach again in 2005. So some people say that uh, the tunnels actually add some experience to yeah. it. It feels a little bit faster. Um, and I rode it the first year without tunnels and I really felt it was cool for the first foot uh, up here. But we were really free. Yeah. Uh, but it's still great with tunnels, I would say. And most people that have run Baldur have tried it with tunnels so they can't compare, really. Um, and when you see on Facebook and uh, forums, it has sent said for like 10 years now, yeah, we will turn down Baldur, it will be cold and so, but no. And I don't know what that, that rumor came from at all, but uh, we will try to maintain it and uh, keep it in park for many years. Yeah. I mean, Lisper Barnum that we will go for later, has been in the park since 1987, so it's over 30 years now. So it will get new trains next year, so there's no like reason for us to just turn down a coast and build up again. Um, 90 kilometers per hour, first drop is 70 degrees, uh, two frames. Uh, and the name Boulder comes because the field here was named Boulder's Field. So it, it wasn't anything about, yeah, we want a cool card name or so. But <laughs> of course, when we planned this area now, this last year, uh, we took the name here and said, yeah, we could do something with the Nixon Legend here because of the name. And what's this, well, this is a typical Swedish cottage, summer yeah. cottage, that you find all over Sweden. So we would say that this is the summer cottage of Baldur, the god. Um, so if you would like, you can, yeah, I don't have the key for the door, unfortunately, but yeah. you can look through the windows or so if you want. But first, I think it's time for you to, to sign. Yes, now. Yeah, now. now. We can uh, have 
like 50,000 guests in the park at the same time, oh. I would say. Uh, but when we have that, it's not good. <laughs> 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 it's not a good experience for no. the visitor because it's so yeah, uh, round. Yeah. But the park takes around 50,000 yeah. if we have a concert. Because then we have people that stand in front of the stage, like 20, 25,000 there. Uh, and then the rest of the guests are uh, around the park riding attractions or playing games. Yeah. And so, But that, then it will be really, really crowded. Yeah. So I would say the best experience would, for us and the guests would be like, 15, 20,000 every day yeah. we are open instead yeah. of like one day we have 5,000, one day we have 30,000. Yeah. It would be best for everyone if we had like 20,000. Like that, like every day. Yesterday. Yeah. yeah. And when there are big uh, concerts, uh, can you buy tickets especially for that day so that you can say we are sold out that uh, no. day? or You can't uh, book when we have a concert on the big stage. Uh, you can't like book a ticket for just that concert or so. So uh, even if you have pre-booked a ticket, okay. it's still like you need to stand in line and uh, yeah. show up the ticket uh, for it. But uh, if you can't use it, you can use it another day or you make a refund for it. Yeah. Um, but we don't really know why the guests are visiting us. If they are here for the rides yeah. or for the concerts or anything else, just going like uh, in a circle and watch people and play on the wheels. We don't really know that, so we can't like say you can come in and you can't come in. So, but the stage will still be there after the tunnel project. The starts. stage will remain. Yes, yes. the stage um, will remain. But so, um, but the, if you look at the stage, yes, the part on the left, on the left, all, all like uh, pink buildings there on the left. Uh, and the entrance will uh, remain. Uh, but it will, not, it will be quite um, uh, crowded for people. We will try to make people come on the south end, but we will rebuild that to make it bigger. Ah, okay. um, Before the hotel opens? Yeah, we will try to make it a little bit bigger yeah. uh, before the hotel opens. Uh, but when the hotel opens, it will be even bigger. Yeah, but yeah. then there is the main entrance. Yeah. yeah. Das. Also alles, was ähm, wenn ihr vor der Konzert, habt ihr mitbekommen, ne? also alles, was vor der Konzertbühne steht und dann linke Seite, das äh, ja, kommt zum Teil alles weg und aufgrund dieses Tunnelprojekts, das ist dieses große Projekt, von, ähm, ja. äh, von dem wir gesprochen haben und das passiert jetzt schon nächstes Jahr. Also das geht hier. Tu nicht in den Park, von der Stadt aus ein Tunnelprojekt, so dass da praktisch Platz geklaut wird vom Park und nach hinten hin gibt es dann mit Hotel und so weiter gibt's dann wieder Platz dazu. Genau. How long is the infrastructure project to uh, end or when it's going to end? How long is it planned? <laughs> you, you, are you talking about the tunnel project? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, they say like 5-10 years, but uh, some, five, some ten, people quick, say... Quick, quick, six oh. years yeah. is, is the latest. Uh, yeah. They say now, but yeah. in the beginning they said 2021, yeah. now it's 2026. Yeah. It, it'll it'll yeah, probably yeah. be finished around 2030, something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it'll still take like a turn around it so we came to come to the um, staff area, so we'll see that, yeah. uh, because there it will be a staircase we can go up either way. And if we can't go there, we can take like the big turn over there at the old fairy, ca fairy tale castle area, uh, so we can take the information there instead. But if you have to me that way, yes. uh, we take the theory. Is it, um, as I know, it's uh, over the day, it's a familiar uh, Halloween, mm -hmm. and in the evening when it's yeah, going to be after, dark... After um, five, um, uh, our ghost huh? comes out, <laughs> but they will be in special areas, if ah, people okay. don't want to be scared, they can keep the other areas in the... Yeah, we have to come back here yeah. mm -hmm. at Halloween. Yeah, actually, yeah. when we talk about Halloween, we're building up a new ghost house here. Yeah. Um, yeah. That will be open up on Halloween. Uh, it, it will be uh, uh, <laughs> when uh, two years ago. So basically, the theme is uh, um, old, no, our main office. When we speak about Halloween in Lieseberg, I think we have to speak about the Spook Hotel Gasten. Mm -hmm. And Spook Hotel Gasten, for me, it's the best, yeah, what can I say, walk 
you or... Uh, We're really proud about yeah, this then. Uh, in the whole world. It's, oh, yeah. in the whole world? Yeah. It's well. Spook Hotel Gaston. Did you hear that? Gaston, the best in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also this, this, type, this type of attraction I, I never have seen somewhere in the world. We were uh, now in uh, Grüner Lund. Mm -hmm. It was good, yes. It was really good. Um, we were in um, Tibidabo, um, Hotel Krüger. Yes, Hotel Krüger. It's very, it's, everyone is good, but this one is the best. We, we, we take a real crowd in our, in, in our scare houses. On Halloween we have four. Yeah. And I would say Gaston is probably the worst of them. I mean, I, the other three are even better. They, we are really we're doing zombie in here. Did you see? Mm, yeah. Doing, yeah. doing yeah. zombie in here, for instance, and that is just. That is the best. I mean, uh, Gaston is it, it's they're ghosts, and you know it's it's, it's a really nice setting yeah. and everything, it's and you, you get scared, and it's it's, 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 it's yeah. setting. It's, uh, but in here, you, you walk into an empty office, like you, you see you see blood stains on the wall at first and then you go further into the office and it's getting worse and worse, it's getting worse, worse, and worse and worse and in the end it's just mayhem it's blood everywhere there are zombies everywhere and they are i mean our, our actors are just amazing actors they 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 really put their soul into yeah. it and yeah, and, uh, yeah they, they create a great experience yeah and then in the queue area for atmosphere we have this experiment so they um, like reduce and put together body parts and so uh, it's a like crazy doctor with, crazy a, with doctor. a saw and uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, on the attic, um, in the same building as, as Gaston, but on the attic, we call it the attic, uh, you know, in a car you have some children that get lost, they end up on the attic and they eat people. Uh, so so they've been locked in for a hundred years and they're yeah. really angry. Uh, Ang uh, angry kids. Uh, like uh, yeah. <laughs> The mechanics has education and practice with the uh, BNM uh, right now, so that's why we can't be at the station. It's so crowded now in the control booth. Uh, but we can have be here at the queue area. Um, Valkyria actually has a story. Uh, so we are in myth and legends, uh, and that's on the Norse mythology with the Thor and Odin and those gods. So we have Baldur. And then Loki came last year, and uh, Loki was the god that um, act actually could kill Baldur. He poisoned an arrow, and a blind god uh, shot it away, and it uh, killed Baldur. And Baldur was the most lovable god of all, so that is why it's, it's hitting Baldur the swing. So that's why we call it Loki. Yeah. So that's yeah. quite. Yeah. But, yeah. But what about Valkyria? Uh, you know about Wagner, you're from Germany as well, um, of course. So, uh, if you listen to the music, uh, actually you can hear Wagner in the background uh, from Wagner's Valkyria, the opera. Uh, it's Ima Skorda that made an amazing job there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have actually uh, ordered music for, from Ima Skorda since 2013 with the Rabbit Land. So, so all new attractions have uh, Ima Skorda themes. Uh, and yeah, Valkyria is, do you know what a Valkyria is? It's like an angel from the Norse mythology uh, uh -huh. that's uh, searching for the bravest fallen warriors because they need that for Ragnarök, the big, big battle between gods and demons. So Valkyria goes up in the air and searches over the field for fallen warriors and when she has found a really, really brave one. She goes down and picks him up, takes him on a flight and puts him where he belongs, in Valhalla, where the gods lives. So when you see that uh, the poster and then hear the story, you actually see that there are quite a good uh, sense of uh, thinking that of the name. Yeah. Um, it wasn't the most easy project you have probably heard about our tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> we had a small tunnel, the city of Gothenburg will have a bigger tunnel. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I was here uh, working in January, I saw how they dig up the hole and it came uh, trucks and put the mud away. 
having all the clay and so, oh, I drew the hole here. And then the next day I passed it again and the clay and mud was back. So where did they come from? Uh, I thought they removed it. And then it removed it again and then the next day it was still there. So it like came new thing from the ground all the time. They couldn't like uh, remove everything. And it wasn't so easy because we have like this uh, small river here yeah. uh, in the middle. So that's quite close to the tunnel, so that like helped the clay to come in. So the engineers had to come up with a new technology to uh, solve the problem. So we were around 10 weeks delayed because of this. And we couldn't like uh, catch in the time uh, because the whole needs to be finished. So the whole project stood still for several weeks because we couldn't continue the rest until the track was finished. Yeah. So we had the parts, we had the workers, we had the big expensive cranes that were standing here, but we couldn't like complete the track. Yeah. <laughs> and that was so frustrating for all of us. Um, so, um, yeah, the guests that had planned to visit us and a lot of enthusiasts like you yeah. that <laughs> came here for the coaster, yeah. the first thing I had to say to them, we are sorry. We are sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we have healings and so, so that we have other things we they can uh, write. So now Valkyria has been open for around a week, <laughs> uh, since the 10th, uh, more than a week now. Yeah. Uh, and it's run so beautifully well. We haven't had any problem at all um, yet. <laughs> we will see. Uh, but if we compare with other coasters and attractions, we've been in the park the first week has always been like tough. I mean, uh, some things uh, is not right and people stand in line, sorry we need to close, they have to go back. And so, mm -hmm. But I haven't got this on Valkyria yet, so we are really, really lucky about that. So why did we choose a BM type coaster? Well, Balder is an airtime machine. It's yeah. not like the first drop is the thing, it's the airtime. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Sabari Bana, it's a family coaster, it's a complete coaster. Uh, at, and look at Helix, it's a coaster that builds up itself, it's getting better and better and better. Yeah, 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 but yeah, we don't yeah. have a coaster that like the first thing is the drop thing. The drop, yeah. Yeah. So we looked at that and we also looked at other concepts like spinning coaster, uh, indoor coaster and so. Uh, but when we looked at the blue princess, we saw that, hmm, no, it's not right for us. And when we removed Kanuna, the old Intamin coaster, we couldn't like replace that with a family ride. Yeah. If we remove a thrill ride, we should replace it with a thrill ride. So then BNM told us, yeah, we have an open uh, um, slot. Slot, yeah. yeah, that we can uh, build stuff. So Andrea said, yeah, make us a concept, <laughs> and they uh, <laughs> came with this blueprint. And I was up in the office that like the first day he got the blueprint. So he said, Pot is coming here, but if you tell anyone, I will kill you and will, you will never work here again. <laughs> <laughs> and Stefan was in the room as well. Uh, so we look at it, it was just like a paper. It was made in computers, so you saw like how it would go. And then it was written with uh, a pencil uh, next to it. Here's the uphill and here's the email man and the CRG roll and so. And then when they decided to, yeah, we build this one. So we are really, really happy. It's the first BNM coaster in Sweden, yeah. and it's so smooth. We yeah. thought that Helix was a smooth coaster, but if you, if you compare it with this, it's nothing. This is so smooth. Yeah. It's like slim to the curves. My favorite seat now after 11 rides is uh, front to the left. Ah. Because on this uh, turn here, on the lift hill, yeah. you really like doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So you get like an extra turn for it. Oh. So that is, if you come back here another day, yeah. try to sit like in the <laughs> front to the left. Um, yeah. About the music from hmm? I Must Go, I think um, it can be a little bit louder here in, in the station. Um, a bit loud? Okay. So loud, yeah, it's a loud. loud? Yeah. Then it's, um, it, uh, it can be louder. Yeah. 
Oh, it can be loud. Ja, yeah, it can be too loud. It's too loud. Aha, yes. Okay. Uh, was war was war euer Eindruck uh, yeah, yeah. von der Musik yeah. hier jetzt? Yeah, um, okay. When uh, um, I compared with um, with Helix, it's oh, dong 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 dong. Ne? And um, I miss it a little bit here. Mm -hmm. It was too low, a little okay. bit too low. I can take it further. So we will see if it's higher next time you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Start. Perhaps uh, I can say a little bit about it because I wrote an article about Valkyria and Lisenberg mm -hmm. and I also talked to Imus Kura about the, the soundtrack mm -hmm. and they said yes, it's, uh, it's a very big soundtrack, it's very epic yeah. and it's more than epic, it's not brutal, I don't have the right word, it's not brutal and uh, they make it a little bit lower and, and not so noisy in the station uh, to um, protect the employees yeah. because they're ah, working okay. there the whole day. So it's more. Uh, yeah, okay. But uh, I think in general you're right. Um, also in the queue lines, <coughs> I, I, for my opinion, it could be a little bit louder. But they do it uh, on purpose that they uh, better uh, slow yeah, it down uh, at the we station. We try to protect our employees, of course, with the <coughs> sound. So when I was uh, a couple years ago, I was head operator and uh, train leader for Canonen, the last uh, here. Uh, we need to use earplugs yeah. uh, because of the screaming from uh, the lawn. So, so uh, if we can reduce the noise, of course, it's good for our audience. But up here is also the first thing we have here with single rider line. It's not so common in Sweden, so the Swedes are not used to it. So the most common question is, what is a single rider line? So we need to explain it before. Same we have the yeah. same problem in Germany. Yeah. yeah it's, um, in America, it, everyone knows it. In Germany, the, the mm. fans, yes, but uh, uh, other people, it's a little bit difficult to explain. Okay. So we try to film the train, so that is a good solution yeah. for it. And then, of course, we have this um, more machinery thing of the loading, like say, you sit there, you sit there, you sit there. Uh, the Swedes are not used to that either, uh, but we really want to have the capa capacity as high as possible. Yeah. Because the biggest, biggest complaint we get here at this event is you have to uh, long queue lines. Yeah. I don't want to wait over one hour to ride one ride in Helix. And so on. But if we compare now uh, before that queue was built and after, uh, on Helix we have reduced the queue time with 20 minutes. So that's quite good. Yeah. So uh, people standing in line here as well as the beauty of Helix. change the wheels because you have smaller hidden white wheels here on the side mm -hmm. so everything is free here at this very barn you don't have these extra wheels you just have the main wheels so that makes real long time to change but here they just like remove the bolts and check the wheels and put it back again um, the problem we had here with Valkyria during tests was that it was too fast <laughs> so they needed to um, have a combination. You know, do you know about hard and soft wheels? Yeah. Mm? yeah. So they needed to find the perfect uh, combination of that to have the right speed. So the G forces was, wouldn't be too uh, big and wasn't too fast in the curves and so. If you have seen the first videos mm -hmm. uh, from uh, like, uh, how far <laughs> is it? It's, um, it was really really fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, really fast. This is, uh, so, uh, we think that it's faster now than it's, it was already on the videos. Yeah, I would say.
habe mich gestern die ganze Zeit gefragt, also der, der Swingride stand ja vorher da, wo jetzt ähm, der Tunnel ist und äh, das ist jetzt auch neu, aber ich bekomme, ne? das ist jetzt auch neuer, nicht mehr der alte Kopf gesetzt wurde, aber ich habe mich die ganze Zeit gefragt, was hier vorher stand. Ja, das der Ticket verkauft. Genau. Wir haben gerade erfahren, ich habe ihn ja darauf angesprochen, dass jetzt ein Dark Ride fehlt, weil Valkyria den Platz eingenommen hat und er sagt, ja, es wird bald wieder ein Dark Ride geben, weil die Philosophie ist ja so immer, wenn man einen bestimmten Ride-Typ wegnimmt, muss der gleiche Ride-Typ auch wiederkommen. Das war jetzt auch eben, äh, zum ganz anderen Thema die Antwort, weil ich gesagt habe, dass äh, Berg ja sehr, sehr gute Flat Rides hat und mir auch ganz klar gesagt wurde, ja, weil es hier sehr, sehr beliebt ist und wenn ein Flat Ride, also ein, ich sage jetzt mal, Fahrgeschäft, Karussell ganz klassisch, entfernt wird, dann muss es auch durch ein anderes, neueres, spektakuläres ersetzt werden. Also wird zwangsläufig jetzt auch wieder ein Dark Ride kommen, rund um 2020, aber dann im Kaninchen, im Kinderbereich, also im, ja, im Kaninchenland, im Canyon landet ähm, und dann als Familien Dark Ride. This area here is actually really cool to be when the boat coaster are uh, running. Yeah. Uh, because they are, have like noise everywhere and it's too total different technologies that uh, me. <laughs> I mean, you have Helix that was built in 2014, and then we have the Schwarzkopf. This is very born. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 1987, which we had premiere. And a fun story about this very born is that we we wanted a coaster on a mountain, and um, so we got some uh, different um, blueprints and so from many. Uh, manufacturer, so we chose one, and then uh, it was a man with a little hat that knocked on the door on the head office. Um, and had a big blueprint under his arm. And we opened up, and he said, "I'm Mr. Anton Schwarzkopf, and I have built your coaster. I want you to see <laughs> or design, maybe." Yeah. So he went up to the office and he showed the blueprints. And then uh, the next day, the CEO made a call to the manufacturer that we had chosen and said, sorry, we chose uh, Mr. Schwarzkopf design instead. And uh, what he had made was a masterpiece. I mean, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, uh, it's so family friendly. It's really long. Um, and you actually have uh, air time hill here that's not so common on the uh, Schwarzkopf uh, coasters. And He designed it to uh, save as many trees as possible and to be as close as the ground as possible. But now during the years we have built uh, both Upswingets and uh, Helix and some stuff in the other part there. So you can't really see what he actually did. But uh, during the 80s and early 90s you could really see how the branches and so were over the track. and. Uh, really like turn around trees and so but it's still a cool coast uh, we will have new trains next or in two uh, uh, years because uh, it's everything is original here mm -hmm. uh, but the trains is getting really old mm -hmm. but the replacement will be almost a copy of them so I don't really know if the guests will feel any difference or see any difference are they from yes. no I see that So zero is uh, yeah. We we'll, you we we'll go into the station here, and mm -hmm. you will see uh, because it's a um, combination of zero and Schwarzkopf. So Schwarzkopf was the designer, and zero was the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Because that was because Schwarzkopf's company itself was bankrupt and so, but mm -hmm. he was still designing coasters. Mm -hmm. is yeah, the comp is, the uh, is the safety zone still in use? Um, not this one. We have another one. Uh, but this has been uh, been used. Uh, was sitting on the train. Yes. With mm -hmm. So that is the original one from the 1980s. We say that was sitting on the train, so you could reach with your arms yeah. or so. But we have mechanics that uh, takes a ride every morning and see for uh, branches and leaves and so. Masterpiece. That's the right word for. Uh, Yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Y
he really listened and he, for that here, for example, mm -hmm. he stopped me and said like, okay, Pontus, be honest, be honest. Is it good or is it not good? I really need to know this. I was so nervous about the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I had to call him down, okay, Andreas, it's good. You don't need to be nervous. <laughs> we really like it. The guests like this. Yeah. So, because that pro has, this project has taken like three years now, like yeah, from yeah. start to finish. So then you almost forget what you're working for. Mm -hmm. And then when you see the result, it's like, oh, yeah, it's done now. Yeah. What do you then think? I've been seeing this try for three years, but they have just seen it now. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the biggest project in the history of Elisabeth will be the hotel. Yes, yeah. it will. Yeah, and most expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it will cost around two to three hundred thousand. No, two, uh, two hundred, uh, yeah. two, two hundred to three hundred million. Views. Yeah. I was like to uh, Swedish yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the water park also, uh, mm, including yeah. that. Including. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Das muss, also das ist, das, äh, vom West her ist das ungefähr mm. das Doppelte von mm. komplett Rulantica, ne? Das ja. ist oder das mm. Doppelte bis Dreifache. Ja. 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 <laughs> And that will be theming as well in that. Yeah. Uh, but they are not like really so much pictures and so a lot of secrets are still yeah, yeah. remain yeah. remain. <laughs> But it will be an interesting project, really interesting, uh, because the big biggest question was, okay, we have this land now. We bought all the land for parking and uh, to the left at the highway. Should we build out the park with more rides and so, or should we do something else? And then yeah. because of the tunnels and our hotels is not so near the park, should we do like an indoor park? Mm, that can be cool, uh, but that can be really crowded and what can we have inside and so what do the city miss and we don't have like this adventure park and water in the city yeah. people taking a ferry to denmark uh, to take that and that's quite cheap it just take what uh, cost 100 uh, per person to take the ferry to denmark it's yeah. really cheap um, so they do that so we want to keep the uh, citizens in the city yeah. yeah so what do we miss yeah we need a new hotel and we don't have a water park in the city and there are a lot of other parks in the world that have the boat. So yeah, we do that. But it took a real long time before yeah. we took that decision. It wasn't mm -hmm. like one week and yeah, we do that. Uh, it was a lot of um, question about the public and the market as well. So it will be near the park, but separate? Yeah. Okay. And you can visit it uh, independent of the park? Yeah, and that, will, that, will, that will be open all year round. Yeah. Uh, so you can be uh, live at the hotel and uh, be at the water park, and then the next day you be in the uh, park. It's almost like uh, Euro Disney. You have two yeah. parks, but they are not. But there are one park, but still two parks in one. Yeah. And they have the same concept. But it will be um, at, the, uh, um, at the parking area. Yeah, the yeah. whole parking area, uh, almost. So we will uh, build parking. Um, in levels instead mm -hmm. um, and then we will need to turn down some buildings as well uh, for it uh, so we will see in the future where we can build the next coaster uh, but it, this Valkyria project is the uh, last bigger project for like five ten years yeah. mm -hmm. uh, at least so if we build a new coaster maybe we need to remove a coaster or maybe use some area next to the highway yeah. so we will see it will be a future project <laughs> <laughs> do you have uh, 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 some problems with uh, uh, parking cars because there are uh, not a lot of parking lots yeah to the uh, our parking lot is quite big and we have some uh, parking houses around the mm -hmm. area um, but the biggest problem is people that come with caravans or uh, you know these house trucks yeah. on camping yeah. uh, they have nothing nowhere to park the cars mm. near the park mm. so we have our own camping but if, if you take the tram it takes like eight minutes mm. there they can park but uh, that is the only thing like in the park that are close enough mm. uh, so that is a negative thing of being close or in the middle of the yeah. city
six different uh, areas of rides, so the staff can like change between the rides. Uh, both for like uh, have like if you do have this with the uh, safety yeah. all the time, yeah. you restore your back to so have like a uh, combination, so the back will be uh, better, uh, and also for the noise. Uh, so we really want them to change rides during the day. But the head operators that are more uh, educated in their coasters and the bigger rides, so they are allowed to sit in the control booth and uh, they can solve a lot of problems for their own. I know in other parks they call the mechanics yeah. uh, immediately, mm -hmm. uh, but here uh, they can uh, fix a lot of things for their own. Uh, but some, some stuff they really need to call the mechanics or the electricians, of course. Um, on the panel here, all the black buttons here to the left uh, are to control the trains if they are on the brake run and want to come in and so, and also to uh, fix the uh, from the garage through to changing the train on track. Yeah. Uh, and here, on this yellow small uh, lights here, there are like these zones. So we have uh, nine zones. That means that we can have five trains on the track in, uh, on the same time. And there always need to be one like free zone uh, between the trains. So you always have a break between the trains so they can't uh, crash into each other. Um, and mostly the operator here just using like these button here to the uh, right there around the orange thing so they open the gates close the gates and push the like lock key uh, mm -hmm. button for and the safety bars and then they uh, look for the next train to have left the uh, little and then <coughs> they can send the other train and that takes around 30 seconds so that's really really fast uh, and you really know that is fast when you stand in the queue because you almost never stand still. You're almost always like moving a little bit. And if you stay, you stay for like a few seconds and then you walk out again. So the guest doesn't feel that it's so long, even if there are 20 minutes minute, uh, so queue time. Yeah. Uh, they don't feel that it's 20 minutes. And the theming around this station uh, is an old uh, around 1900 or late 1800 uh, station in Sweden and that is also explains the design for the trains they are supposed to look like old mo locomotives yeah. uh, old trains mm -hmm. with steam and so <coughs> um, and actually when it was built in 1987 <coughs> also built the buildings here in the shopping area so it would look like old Swedish style yeah. And when we built the rabbit land, we continue with that style on main street, so it could look more natural in the areas it didn't look so new. Uh, it's really, really popular ride, and you just need to be 110 to ride with an adult. So we have five year olds that ride this coast, and that's so cool. I was five, I was six years old actually when I rode the first time with my father in the front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we know the operator that was uh, working here, so I could ride it twice in a row. That was so amazing. Quite. Uh, you d you don't hear any music, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <You> don't hear. <laughs> so quiet. Yeah. So nice. Um, yeah. Some of you said that's cool uh, queue area, yeah. and it's actually the old building for our 3D cinema that we used for uh, the station and uh, queue area. So after a couple of years, it wasn't so cool with 3D anymore. We build the three D cinema in uh, around, say, two thousand. Uh, yeah, 
around 2000, 2001. Maxima, it was called. Uh, almost like an IMAX uh, theater, it was just a little bit smaller. So it was original, this uh, analog uh, projectors too. So it was really cool 3D effects. And then we replaced it for a modern uh, digital one. It wasn't so cool anymore. Uh, it was so big 3D effects. Uh, but then you had 3D in normal cinemas around the, yeah. uh, the theater. So uh, we couldn't have it here. It didn't, didn't make any sense at all. So when we were thinking building a new coaster, we thought that, yeah, we already have like an area we can build a station for, so what can we do with it? Yeah, let's do a maze. So we made a maze. And that's what we uh, walked through. And Ima Score made an incredible job with the music there, so when you're standing in line, you really dig the music. It's, um, I think that the masterpiece from uh, Ima Score. Yeah, the, the music, and I can see They it. actually released it, uh, so you can download it. I because have it on CD, yeah. and it's... Yeah, I hear it nearly every day in the car. It's uh, it's uh, da -da -da. yeah, it's um, it's a yeah, it's a masterpiece. Mm. That's, that's the word. It's almost like the music from uh, Europa Park in the Globe, and that yeah. that was also good. I don't think it's me, but it's good music as well. As a lot of enthusiasts who come here say, "Oh, it's Helix. I heard the music before I rode the coaster." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we wanted a new coaster. So where can we uh, put it? And said, yeah, we have more room on the mountain, let's put it there. So we checked with different manufacturers, we checked with B&M, we checked with Intamin, we checked with uh, Gerstlauer and uh, Mac and so. And uh, Blue Fire was built in 2009 or so, so yeah. we, we had some people that were going there and said, wow, this is such a cool ride and the seats are amazing. So we chose Mac and we wanted a mega coaster so they designed a 84 meters high coaster that were like the where the flume rod is that was the mm. big line and they just go down up and the, on this side on the mountain and then back so it was almost the same um, uh, hundreds meter 1300 meters or mm. so uh, but the ride itself was a little bit shorter because you needed so much mm. of the lift hill it looks so cool and uh, when Andreas begin at, began as a uh, new CEO for Lisebär, he got the blueprints and the contracts and everything. And he looked at it and said, I can't sign this. It's something wrong. It doesn't feel right. Because when you saw it, it looked like you had a big, big, big coaster and a small park beneath it. So it was a great coaster, but not the best coaster choice for Lisebär. So we scratched that uh, concept and told Matt, yeah, we want it close to the ground, we want it fast, and we want some inversions. And uh, we want also launches. So they built this in Blueprints uh, multi-launch. And Helix did have some uh, differences in their design before we like chose this concept we have now. Uh, but the general thing was that we begin from this station here and use the mountain uh, yeah. for it. So originally Helix was planned for 2013, but because of um, uh, the scrap of the original model, uh, it became 2014 mm. instead. But we are really, really happy that we choose to scrap that because this design has really become well for us. Yeah. I mean, we have kids that are just 130, they can ride it, uh, it's fast, we're upside down, uh, and it's a long ride. Yeah. Yeah. And because you don't have any lift hill and so, you can use more of the track for a ride experience instead of just a waiting experience. The new thing we see on the train is now mm. the seat belts. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So why do we yeah. have seat belts? Well, um, as you know, uh, Swedish people are really f a big fan of safety. <laughs> uh, so it's n nothing wrong to add another safety belt if you can. Uh, so the main thing we have here is guests that complains that they don't feel safe because there are no seat belts. So we added the seat belts to uh, make the guests happy. Uh, so. 
what have we added then? Well, we have added some more seconds for the loading. That means that we have lost some of the capacity. So we will see if we find another solution of another valve or so to reduce it, or if the guests are more like getting used to it, so uh, more faster to mm. uh, sit and uh, fix the belts and so. So we will see, uh, but it will remain the rest of the uh, year here yeah, in this concept that we have now. But the belts are from Mac itself, so I think it will be on, on other Macs as well. And the computer checks them every time the coaster comes into the station. So if something goes wrong with one locker during the ride, we have the other uh, locking mechanism here that uh, keeps it. And then of course now we also have the extra belt that will uh, keep you in the seat. Uh, and the same concept here for as Valkyria with small white wheels on the side, so the big wheels are free mm -hmm. under here. So Frederick and the other mechanics here can change them really, really fast. Yeah. If you compare with uh, other control walls, you actually control everything uh, with those small sticks here, mm. uh, instead of pushing buttons. So it's really ergonomic for the people that sit here and operate. Uh, so you can just lean back and use the sticks. And then if there's something wrong or so, they use the screens on the control panel. And then we have some uh, cameras over both the queue area and the track, of course. And if we got any failure, uh, the train will stop at some of the launches because they use are uh, not just launches, they are also magnetic brakes.
or the coasters to get the information to see um, the park without people. people yeah. uh, amazing. Thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs>